guys hello and welcome back to another video my name is Kyle Solkar and I'm excited to have you back as always uh, as we left off in the last video you guys saw the number one thing we had to do to this car my 2008 BMW E92 M3 is the LCI taillights I ordered them they came in that didn't have that little whatever you want to call it cable transist whatever it is called um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do first, and we've got a lot of their stuff in store, so right, let's so go. here are the current taillights and the current insides. Here are the new insides and the new taillight portion. Uh, just gonna do the same thing, pop these out, plug them in, hopefully those connectors work, and uh, show you guys before and after. So let's do a quick little montage, and let's go. Also, cheers for the boys, black coffee, ice, you know what it is. Ultimate drink of summer, uh, summer BMW work. LCI taillights are looking solid, super, super solid. Um, and we picked up something yesterday that I think you guys will like to see. Reality situation is, let me get this a little bit uh, brighter, there you go. Reality of the situation is the car just not loud enough. And uh, like I said, not my daily driver, wanted one of these for a long time, and I want it to be ridiculous. When you downshift in the third, I want it to just be blow your mind. So uh, here it is. This is a RKP uh, race X pipe. There's just resonators right there, uh, mainly to eliminate any bad smells, but essentially a complete straight pipe. So yeah, now that we have the muffler on, we're gonna install this. And when you install this, you need to tune. And fortunately, the amazing guys over at Alpine Motorsports hooked us up with an amazing discount on their tune that I was recommended by a bunch of people. But either way, we gotta throw this on first. It's gonna throw a check engine light, which is whatever, it'll probably run, all right? Uh, and then tomorrow or something, the tune will be here and we'll install that and go through that whole process and do a review, whatever it may be on it. But with that being said, I'm excited. I just picked this up like an hour away uh, for 600 bucks and it's like a $1,500 part. So it's just a piece of metal at the end of the day. Don't need to buy any more exhaust stuff new for this thing. So. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're gonna get the sound that we're looking for with this setup and uh, you guys can be the judge as well. So let's keep going. Whew. All right, so Oliver's about to pull up in the Prius. We're gonna throw this exhaust back there. I called like four different shops and fortunately one exhaust shop can actually install it. I figure it's probably the best because, uh, you know, taking off a bunch of O2 sensors and whatever and, uh, you know, probably take them an hour. But shops are booked up. Everyone's Thursday. Everyone seems like they're uh, done for the the weekend ready, but they should be able to take care of it. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this thing sounds. Oh, it's looking juicy. Wow. waiting on one. Can you guys guess what it is? Might be like a week or two, but stay tuned. We'll drop some subtle hints as uh, as we get closer to the time of arrival, because the car that I ordered has been getting shipped around the whole United States, apparently. And uh, interesting story, but we'll tell that in a little bit in a later video. I think one thing to note about this exhaust is that it sounds really good in the cabin, and it almost gets quieter when you open the windows, which doesn't make that much sense, but maybe it does for some reason of being inside the car and it vibrating through the car or whatever. Either way, uh, like I said, it is not loud enough for what I want to do with it. If I was daily driving the car, this would probably be like a great amount of loudness, but uh, I'm not, so we want to make it very loud. So if you guys can hear it right now, I don't know. I can just, you can just hear that it, it's got more to give uh, when you up so 
let's let's give it to it. Let's do it. CHP knob is looking nice and spicy. Uh, did that really quick, and I didn't film it because it's a simple thing. You pull it off. I've done it before. You, you guys get the drill. You pull it off. You do some stuff. It's all good. But feels nice. Looks much better than that old worn out one uh, that I bought the car with. The broomstick, people call it. And uh, yeah, so slowly coming together, slowly but surely. So she's off. X pipe is delivered. Route 66, just 64. Can't read. And uh, now we wait like an hour or whatever it takes to get it done. Oh, what's up, dog? Yo, what up, guys? What's going on? How's your day going so far? <laughs> Time for some food. Down, where you yeah. Let's go. Got a video. Back to the office. Uh, that's a good question. They have your phone number, right? What? They have your phone number? Yeah. Right, I mean, we could we could jump. We got Brando out here. Getting things nice and fresh. What's going on, Brando? Sheesh. <laughs> Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Alright, so exhaust is done. Ready to rock and roll. Let's uh see how this puppy sounds. Literally, this is the moment that I've been waiting for since before and even after I bought this car. Like, so when I bought it, I'm like, oh, it's not that loud. Like, it sounds good, but it's not like crazy. And like, if you guys have noticed in these videos, I keep talking about making it loud. And I, there's literally nothing else for me to do besides headers, which I think is like super extreme. So this should be a perfect exhaust setup, but we'll see. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How's it going? So if you guys look under there, you'll see that new Megan, and then, yeah, I can't really tell, but it's right there. Let's go back to the office and assess a little bit more, get some pulls in. Alright, let's see how she some first pulls. Sounds crazy. Alright, so first impressions, it's definitely smelly. Uh, not atrociously bad, but considerably more smelly than it was before. Sounds awesome so far and uh, we'll keep driving a little bit, take all of our first spin. And see how it feels kind of on all the rev ranges so we are back and one thing i was curious about with this exhaust was what uh was done to it previously because i could tell something was cut out and cut in like a some probably the four muffler mop, some i don't know these e90 guys have all sorts of sayings but uh let's look at how it looked before uh and you know see the different catalytic converters that were in there and whatnot so this looks like what I was talking about. Somebody welded something in to whatever, obviously make it louder. So the car was loud for that. And if you watched the previous video, you saw that obviously it had the muffler cut out or whatever. Then you've got the secondary cat and the primaries. I think this is what test pipes do. You, you cut this out, clamp it in, and then you get your new whatever. Uh, so obviously a little bit louder and straighter now. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Oliver, let's go for a ride. Let's ride. Still can't get over these LCI taillights. This makes the car look so much newer. Love that. Aside from it being a little smelly, everything so far is so good. Uh, kind of was anticipated. And then we're gonna start a new, new thing on this channel. And we're gonna start rating everything we do. Uh, whether it be paintwork, uh, exhaust, uh, repairs, whatever, whatever, you name it, restorations, I want to start using just the general 1 to 10 system, right? And what was I expecting, what's the result, etc, etc, etc. I think uh, Dave Portnoy, Barstool Pizza Reviews, but now we're doing it with BMWs. Uh, I just think it's the most effective way to, to judge how something is. So for example, this exhaust, 
highly anticipated. Uh, it was it something specifically I was looking for? The answer is no. I look for the best deals and things that are local, so I don't have to pay for shipping for no reason. Uh, and that's how this came about. And um, it made the most amount of sense. I, instead of cutting up the OEM exhaust and doing test pipes, it would have cost at least $600 too. And I would have probably gotten less sound out of it. So that's why I didn't go that direction. Um, but I think, let's give it one quick little rip and then we'll finish the score up. And I'm sure I'll, I'll have new opinions over time as with any mod, but let's give it its fair, fair shot. Dynamic mode on. Traction control off. That sounds sick. That's kind of the sound, in my opinion, that I was going for. It's not too loud, but it's loud. And I'm sure from outside the car it sounds ridiculous. Um, it's not like, it could be almost a little louder, but it's hard to to say that because I think a little louder could be too loud. So, so far, it doesn't have the tune on it, so I think that's just a power thing. It wouldn't be a, a loudness thing. Uh, so far, so good. As of right now, first impressions, uh, one drive, everyone knows the rules, you know, you know what it is. Uh, I think would probably be like a seven point nine out of ten, from like cost to uh, happiness level, like you know what I mean, difference levels, to like satisfaction levels. Uh, in this case, a ten out of ten would be like the. I mean, we got a lot of different things, but like down pipes and stage two tune on an F80 still would trump it. I don't, I won't say it's a 10, but it would still trump this mod uh, because it makes the car fast, it, it's fast as shit and it sounds crazy and burbles and pops and all that stuff. However, still a great mod, great sound out of it, still have to do more stuff to it. Overall cost, 600 for the pipe, 120 to install. That's 720 plus 750 for the other one. We're at 1500 ish bucks. Um, plus install, like, say 1600 for the exhaust. And uh, overall, it had to be done. I look at it. Something's corners could have been cut. But like I said, this is my first time messing with the E92 platform. No matter what, I'll have these parts to interchange out with future cars or what have you. Um, but we're slowly learning and uh, figuring out what the best sound is gonna come from and figuring out all the funky smells and stuff like that. But so far, so good, sounding great. Excited to get the tune and keep you guys posted uh, later on in this video. And uh, we'll give the tune rating too. I mean, why not? It's an easy way for me to translate whether or not something's worth it. But 7.9, solid score, would probably do it again. I don't think you can get any cheaper. It's a, like I said, $1,500 part for 600 bucks, so. I'd say we did pretty good on this one. Alpine Motorsports hooked me up with their E92 M3 tune, which I'm super excited about. It's a plug and play thing. They just email you the instructions and you can get a lot more power and crispness and everything out of these cars and even burbles if you're into that kind of thing, which is super, super cool. Everyone on the forum was raving about them. They're the best and uh, Alex was able to hook it up with a great deal. So thank you very, very much for that and supporting the channel. Uh, the next video, we're gonna go over installing this and all of the crazy uh, improvements from stock and now with the X-Pipe, now with the tune. And if we can get the car on a dyno, I would love to do that as well. So guys, stay tuned. The next video is gonna be awesome. We're gonna kind of finish this car, wrap it up. But even though, like I said, it's gonna be a car that's on the channel for quite a while, hopefully. So with that being said, guys, as always, like this video. If you liked it, just like it. If you did not, subscribing would mean the absolute world to me. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, at Kyle Solcar, for all my personal stuff, for at Solcar Media, for all the business stuff and behind the scenes of these videos. So once again, thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.